Hi YouTube. Today is Thursday, so that means it's time for another Photoshop CC tutorial. This is graphic designer Roberto Blake, and today we're going to be using the pen tool for masking in Adobe Photoshop CC. Today we're not using a model, we're using a background image. And part of the reason for that is because human beings don't actually have a lot of hard, well-defined edges when you take photographs of them. So I don't feel it really makes sense to use the pen tool in most cases, and you get a lot better work out of either the uh, quick mask tool with the brush or out of the um, quick selection tool and refine edge. So that's how I actually mask out people and complex things like hair, but for hard line edge shapes like our um, doorway and staircase to heaven here, it's better to use something like the pen tool because you can really get those crisp hard lines uh, just the way you want them and you can do some really interesting things with that. So we're going to go ahead and move forward with using the pen tool. With your pen tool selected, make sure you have your settings uh, set to create a path, not a shape. Uh, in our case, we're going to go ahead and do the interior of the door first and we're just going to create these uh, hard edges. Uh, this is really simple, and uh, you're just, you know, making a path here with your individual clicks. Now, the other thing I'm doing is on these anchor points, I'm uh, clicking Alt um, on the actual anchor point before I make the next one, um, and that just is going to allow me to have more control over the points ultimately. Now, once you've completed and closed a path, you can go ahead and mask if you want to by uh, moving up and making a selection and then uh, clicking on your uh, create mask in the layer options and as you can see we've uh, masked out the interior of that door uh, that's not going to be the end of our tutorial though I'm not going to do that to you um, that was simple and straightforward and illustrates the point but we're going to do something a little more complex so we're just going to go back a few steps here with um, undo command and go through the history states and just you know roll back and I'm going to um, use the direct selection tool, click off here, and then reselect the pen tool. And I'm going to make the paths that go outside around the door and the staircase here. Just go ahead and click paths on the point and follow the shape of the object that you want to trace. And, um, you know, once you do that completely, as we did with the interior of our door, you'll end up closing the path and you know, having a complete uh, shape for a selection. Now when you get down to something like the staircase here and you have to do curves, when you make the point, drag down on it and you can actually go ahead and make a curve here. Um, you get a little bit more control if you click Alt uh, when you do these things, so just keep that in mind. But you can manipulate these wands and curves by just continuing to drag the, um, your mouse or your um, whatever tool you're using when you do this. So we're just going to go ahead and finish completing these paths here. And then we're going to ultimately get down to the bottom and close our path, and it's going to be very easy. And I'm not being overly precise for the purpose of this, of this tutorial to illustrate the point, but the great thing about the pen tool is you can be as precise as you need to be. It's just very painstaking and time-consuming, but the results are uh, fantastic, especially when you're dealing with uh, something that has very nice crisp lines like this. Um, you'll notice that I have um, this as a smart object and that's just because I bumped up um, the contrast and some other things just to make this easier to work with and also to give us our uh, final look for this. So uh, that would be why it's a smart object and I just didn't feel the need to go through that process first since this tutorial is just more about the pen tool. Once you've uh, completed your uh, path here and closed your path completely, just like we did earlier, um, you'll be able to um, use the layer options mask tool to go ahead and just knock out your background. Um, but to also and select the interior before we do that, we're going to use the direct selection tool and we're going to select all of um, our paths so that we have the entire selection. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward and now um, you know, our staircase to heaven is now a staircase to the galaxy. Well, um, I hope that was pretty straightforward and shows you how to use the pen tool for masking and just some of the more creative things you can do with that. Again, I recommend it using um, objects and backgrounds like this rather than using more organic shapes 
like the um, people that I've used in my previous tutorials as far as models or anything like this. When you need to do products, when you need to do cars, when you need to do anything that's got these um, hard edges in real life, I recommend using the pen tool instead. And when you want to do organic masking, go ahead and use something like the uh, quick mask tool or the uh, quick selection refine edge, um, the um, you know select color method, you know, just anything other than the pen tool. If it's part of their clothing, you can combine methods by you know um, using the pen tool to click around the hard edges of a suit or their pants or what have you. And then for the organic parts of the body, you know, um, click around that, give yourself some breathing room, and then go back in with the refine edge tool or a uh, quick mask or what have you, but that's what I recommend. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this Photoshop CC tutorial. Uh, new tutorials every Thursday, so stay tuned. Also, um, anytime now, I will have the first few episodes of Hack Your Creativity ready, so stay tuned for that. Those will be going on on Tuesdays, and um, if there's time this week, I will do another um, Photoshop Speed Art Saturday for you. All right, um, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and stay tuned for more.